The following films feature two of the greatest cricketing personalities of the day, Arthur Mould of Lancashire and Albert Nielsen Hornby, also known as Monkey. Filmed on the 12th of July 1901 at Old Trafford, the home of Lancashire County Cricket Club, it records an incident which threatened to throw all of cricket into confusion. The film starts with the players Lancashire and Somerset leaving the field of play at lunchtime. News of the controversy and the filming of the event swelled the crowd. Various spectators can be seen in the pavilion section, larking around in front of the camera. The pavilion itself and members' enclosure are still a feature of the modern-day cricket ground. The dispute concerned the bowling of Arthur Mould, who was no-balled by the Australian umpire James Phillips 15 times in 10 overs. Mould was accused of contravening Rule 48, or, in layman's terms, of throwing rather than bowling the ball. In defence of Mould, Thomas Edison Pictures arranged an action replay of his bowling action to demonstrate once and for all the honesty of the Lancashire man. These scenes feature Mould bowling to the great Monkey Hornby in the nets. Close-ups of his bowling do seem to show that the bowling arm is bent instead of straight and the action does look decidedly dodgy. However, it's difficult to know what the norm was in Edwardian cricket. All we know for sure is that Mould was reported to have been a serial offender and many of the leading umpires of the day supported Phillips' decision. The controversy over the decision by Phillips to no-ball mould the previous day continued throughout the Friday and the match between Lancashire and Somerset was overlooked by the spectators who were more interested in the filming that was taking place. Here the villain of the piece leaves the field of play. The larger of the two officials wearing a larrikin type hat. The members' enclosure at Old Trafford. The crowd in these scenes are from the establishment. Only the rich could afford to take Friday off to watch a cricket match. The Manchester Evening News reflected that the gate increase in the afternoon was due in no small part to the spectators wishing to view the controversy unfolding rather than the cricket match. Cricket crowds, in particular for county games, 
were well below both rugby and football and even those for the Lancashire League fixtures in cricket. For the record, Lancashire won. Monkey Hornby is captured facing the bowling of Arthur Mould. Nicknamed Monkey for his simian-like features, he was an all-round sportsman in the true Corinthian tradition, excelling at both rugby and cricket and captaining England at both. Indeed, Hornby was England captain in the disastrous one-off match against Australia in 1882 that led to the start of the Ashes. Despite this, he was known for his brilliance as captain. He was also an excellent pugilist and played for Blackburn Rovers Football Club. In his later years, he served as president of the Lancashire Football Association and also as president of Lancashire County Cricket Club. Hornby played for Lancashire for 33 years, serving 20 as captain and was Lancashire's leading batsman. The choice of Hornby to face Mould's delivery was deliberate. His standing in the game, both at county and national level, was impeccable and would help to ensure that the good name of Lancashire cricket remained untainted. The presence of A.D. Thomas, the showman exhibiting at the St James Hall in Manchester, is apparent in this final film. After the first day's controversy, Thomas, under his trade name Edison Pictures, immediately dispatched his camera crew down to Old Trafford for the second day of play. All the elements of today's modern fan-based participations and phone-ins are captured in the public outrage that followed the controversy. The Manchester Evening News invited its readers to make their own judgement on Phillips' conduct and wrote to leading umpires active in the game for their comments on Mould's bowling. The reporter also informs us that the famous bowler himself and other equally well-known cricketers also came to watch the exhibition. As for Mould, he played only one more game for Lancashire that season. Thank you.